Good morning, welcome to Castleton in the Peak District. So I'm heading out on a two day hike slash exploration adventure. I'm gonna aim for Bamford Edge tonight, uh, but I want to go up when it's past in a second, over Mantor and the Great Ridge, down through Lady Bower, explore Lady Bower a little bit, and then up to Bamford Edge for this evening. I've got in my bag, bivvy bag, sleeping bag, spare clothes, warm kit, food, water, jet boil, everything I need for the next two days, hopefully. Spare boxes, toothpaste. And I'll give a full explanation on what I've packed. In this video, I'm gonna show you the best places to look for a wild camp spot what to look out for, and also how to pack light, but you don't feel that light coming up when it's past. Morning. There's the ram. Funny thing I learned about rams, not sure whether it's true or not, but I like the story. Anyway, some of the farmers put a harness on the rams and send them into the fields with the sheep. The harness has a red patch on it, or a different colour. And when the ram mounts the sheep, it leaves a red mark on its back. So the farmer then knows which ones have been, uh, yeah. Imagine if you've seen the farmer with a red patch on his back. Good morning. Coming across the Great Ridge from Mantor over to Loose Hill. Down there, Castleton. Over there, Edo. And as you can see, lovely views. There really is no better feeling than putting everything you need to survive into a backpack. Putting it on your back and just going for it. Just walk, clear your mind, enjoy the scenery. There's that much stuff in here and it's only, it's not massive that you could pretty much rent it out on Airbnb. It would be kind of funny if uh, someone turned up for it's a cheap room, 10 quid a night and uh, turn on. There you go, here's your backpack. Stick that on. Well, good luck, bye. The thing I love most about hiking is fellow hikers are so polite. Everyone you walk past on the hills, hello, hi, good morning, hello, hi. Great weather, bad weather, terrible. No views, great views. Hi. It's brilliant. For navigation on this trip, I'm using the Ordnance Survey map that I downloaded and I've been using for about a year. It's really good. It looks difficult to understand if you've not used one before, but to sum it up, we're the red arrow and the green paths are footpaths. So I'll follow footpaths that will take me up to Wynn Hill for this one, for example. You can zoom out and you can see everything that's around you. Wynn Hill's there with the red arrow and you'll see the footpath leading up to there. The climb up to Wynn Hill is a grueler. Oh. Good views though. Just lean on the fence for a minute. Oh, 
Ooh. Just made it up to the top of the wind hill. Epic views, hard climb. I'm gonna head down to Lady Bower for lunch. So I've got quite a steep descent down towards Lady Bow Reservoirs and Derwent Dams and uh, interesting facts about them places during the Second World War they used Derwent Dams to test and perfect the technique of the bouncing bomb and that's where they got the name the Dam Busters and also when they were building Lady Bow Reservoir they flooded a village purposely <laughs> Concentrate they flooded a village and I forgot what I was going to say. They flooded a village. Oh, yeah, and when the water gets low enough, you can sometimes see the top of the steeple in the old church, which is pretty cool. through exactly what's in the pack. So first of all, it's a low alpine, uh, 35 to 45 litre, which is pretty small compared to packs that I've taken out before. Top pocket, we've got a small dry bag, and in there is my phone, personal belongings, phone, wallet, everything like that. Dry bag, keeping it dry, so it doesn't matter on the weather. We have first dry bag. That is my warm kit. I've got a jacket, I've got hat, gloves, I've got spare clothes for tomorrow. And this will also be my pillow in the morning. And this one is jet oil, cooked food, gas, knife and forks, and a few little accessories lighter for the jet oil. Next one, this is my bivy bag. Tiny, that's my accommodation for the night. It's got one hole in it, so it keeps it off your head. But let's test to see if it's waterproof. I've not used it in rain yet, and it's supposed to rain tonight, so we'll see. Sleeping bag, again in a dry pack, keeping nice and dry. And pushed all the air out of that, so it's as small as possible. GoPro case, extra batteries. Self-inflating roll mat, again squeeze all the air out to make it as small as possible. And that's it in the main compartment. Front pouch, I've got all my food. So I've got a nicely squashed muffin. I've got some hydrated meals that I'm gonna boil in the jet boil. Breakfast, meatballs and pasta as well. All day breakfast, chili and rice. Snacks. Obviously, we've got some Malwams, Nutri Game bars, more muffins, and then most importantly, coffee for the morning. And that's all in the front pouch there. Side pouches, a litre and a half of water, and Lucozade, exactly the same on the other side. Another litre and a half of water, some more Lucozade. And then the last one, just underneath here is my toiletry so I've got my head torch for later and I've got toothbrush, toothpaste, talcum powder and Vaseline. And that has gone all into this bag. For lunch I've got meatballs and pasta and because I'm not actually drinking the water I'm going to fill jet boil up with filthy reservoir water but because it's boiling and I'm not drinking the water it'll be fine just to boil the bag saves using any of mine
I'll let that cook. I'm gonna let it boil for about seven, eight minutes and then leave it for a good minute to cool down. And the voila. Let's try it. Whoa. Nice hot meal. Let's go. Made it up onto Bamford Edge. The views are insane. Got to be some of the best in the Peak District. Looking for somewhere to wild camp, and I'm going to talk you through how I'd find the best spots. There's kind of three main criteria. One is that it's flat because there's nothing worse than sleeping on a slope and having all the blood rush to your head or your feet. If there's no choice but sloped ground, then pitch your tent or your bivvy so that your feet are down the way and your head's higher up because you don't want all that blood going into your head through a nice eight hours sleep if you're lucky. Second one is that it's sheltered from the weather. If you can't get shelter above you, which I can't hear, you want shelter from the wind. There's a little bit of wind at the moment, but that means buy something rocky or in a little gap that will be out of the wind then. I've just spotted a good little place. I'm gonna head down to it. And then the third criteria is you want a good view. Like that. Something like that. So this little spot here has got potential. Let's have a look. Okay. So we're sheltered from the wind, but it's a little bit slopey. You could pitch it sloped down the way slightly. The only thing I would worry about here is the very slim chance that something might fall off the edge of that rock whether it's a stone or a sheep or a hiker it's probably not worth that risk so i'll keep going and see what i can find you've got some nice spots up here but the wind's picking up it's not overly sheltered best for the views but we'll look for somewhere a bit more sheltered one more thing you want to think about is being off the footpath so when you're looking for a spot to camp you don't want to be right on the footpath in case hikers are trampling over you in the morning and it's just nice to be slightly out of the way and i think i've found my spot for tonight so i've come further across the edge and down here if you can hear me in the wind well sheltered stood in the bottom looks well sheltered from the winds this side not near any edges that anything will fall off they land on top of me and what a beautiful place to be what a place that'll be to wake up and have my morning coffee this is perfect winds died right down sheltered by this giant rock stopping the wind coming up the valley rocks behind stopping the wind from there and good piece of grass quite flat and finally somewhere to sit and enjoy the view in the morning all right the 
the weather's coming in pretty bad, it's getting wet. So this is my setup for tonight. It's a Trekmate Storm baby bag. It's got one pole and just keeps the water off your head. Inside, sleeping bag, self-inflating mat. And when I get in there, I'll take my rucksack. This is my pillow, which is my spare clothes. Which is nice and wet now, brilliant. Perfect. Sun's just poked his head out. Cooked all my dinner. Chili and rice this time. Nice views. Just gonna chill here. And I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. It is a bit fresh, but the sun's out and I slept pretty well. Not super windy in the night, but I'm actually I'm gonna head down out of the wind for breakfast this morning. Before you head off, always double check that you haven't left anything behind. None of your kit, no litter, leave no trace. So I found an awesome little spot at Bamford Mill to stop for breakfast, have a coffee, and then I've got about eight miles back to the car. So I'm just coming back into Castleton now where I parked and where I started yesterday morning and if you've managed to watch the video all the way to the end thank you I appreciate it let me know if you enjoyed it let me know if you learned anything from it and keep adventuring